What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can turn the hole punch camera on your Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Ultra, S21, Note 20, S20, S10, Note 10 and A52 and probably a couple more in between into a notification LED. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a light on top of your phone that blinks whenever you receive a notification and things like that. It can be very useful and on phones with maximum screen display size, you don't often get this. If you have a hole punch camera, this app would likely work for you and allow you to customize it in pretty ways. That way, when you have the screen off, you can have a circle around it and things like that showing when you have new notifications, battery usage, etc. Anyways, let's get into it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the notification app, Notification Light AOD Notify. This is the program that lots of people are suggesting to use and it works really well. It has the dot on the side, on the top, or whatever you'd like, including an entire screen overlay when you're in the always on display mode. That can be a bit much, but of course there's quite a bit of user customization. Unfortunately, it does include some in-app purchases, but the free functionality is more than good enough. While there are tons of apps like this, this seems to do it the best and it is free for the most part such as AOA, Always On Display, Notify Buddy, and there's thousands of other programs that do very similar things. I'll just be showing you this one in this video. If you have any better suggestions for this, do leave them down in the comments below. And if something's better than this, I'll make sure to pin it. Setup should be pretty similar to this one, however. If you have a device with an AMOLED display, it'll have minimal battery consumption impact as the always on display doesn't use too much extra power, especially when it's just this notification light, not even the timer. So I'll begin by installing this app on my Samsung S22 Ultra. Then I'll remotely pull up my device over here and you can see the installation has now completed. I'll go ahead and open up AOD Notify. I'll simply click next and we'll see a bunch of steps that we'll need to follow. First of all, we can select what applications would like this notification light to show for. You should only really select programs here that you actually care about. In my case, it'll only really be Discord, South African rolling blackout notifications, Gmail, possibly, possibly not, WhatsApp, and that's really about it. When you're done, you can click back, or of course you can choose all in the top right. Then we'll head into notification access. Click on this, and it asks us to select AOD notify. I'll scroll down and select it, then allow in the bottom right. Then always on display. Always on display, not visible, only on notification, or show always. If I click show always, we'll need to enable the always on display. Otherwise, if we have it set to only on notification, we'll need to select this and enable AOD notify to install the AOD notify manager. I'll click install here. And when it's done, we don't really need to worry about anything else. For now, however, I'll leave it on show always and enable the always on display. I'll head into the always on display and select show always instead of tap to show. Then draw on screen needed to show the notification light. We simply need to click on it, head into install apps, then AOD notify and turn it on up here and allow. There we go. Data protection, the app has no internet permission. It cannot send any data. That's fine. That's just letting us know. I'll click done over here. Now when we're in the main app, select a notification light head to style, and then choose camera edge. As you can see, it's drawing a circle around the camera at the top of my phone up here. We can, of course, also select screen edges, but for me, that's a bit much. I'll leave it at just camera edge. Unfortunately, the LED dot, which shows in the top right over here, or top left, is a paid feature. We can choose what happens when the screen is on. I'd usually leave this on disabled, and when the screen is off, I'll have a camera edge selected over here. Then we can add back and customize it as we see fit. If you'd like some animations, head into the effects section over here and you can select one of the effects to rotate around your camera. Pretty neat. At the very bottom, we also have speed controls for the effect. If we head back into dimensions, we can also change the thickness of this, offset position XY and offset size XY if it's not the correct size. For me, it's just slightly off the camera hole. It's a little bit high, so I'll raise the Y position all the way to about seven pixels. Now it's a bit short, so I'll increase the offset size Y to make it a bit taller, pushing it up a couple more pixels. Now it's perfectly round around my camera hole punch. Awesome. For me, setting the offset size to 16, fixed it, and now it's exactly how I need it. 
Awesome. Finally, if we head back and into colors, we can head into app colors and choose specific colors for specific applications. Unfortunately though, this is a paid feature. You can choose a default color, however, which changes the general color of the circle. If we head back and into notifications, we can select something such as battery to show us when the phone is charging, fully charged, or battery low, which may be rather useful for you. Once again, a couple of things are paywalled behind a relatively cheap barrier, but of course, if you're not going to spend any money, you really don't need to hear. There are a couple of other settings in here, though of course you won't really need to worry about these. This is probably more than enough. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.